Last week, I was gifted a very special pair of shoes for a special day in my life. I didn't know how to make the video, but I said, you know what? Either way, I'm excited to show you guys these shoes. So we're going to go ahead and hop in the studio. I'm going to break down the sneakers, show you everything about it, tell the story, and I'll show you guys some of the other details and why these mean so much to me. So let's go ahead and get into the review. All right, so I know these look like some regular Air Force One box, but trust me, these things are special. Starting with the tag right here, it says Air Force One, white, white, size 13, just for me. And then opening up the lid right here you see it says sparkle and bling it one of one by Liz so as you can see right here special wrapping inside of the box now opening up this little envelope this is a note that she wrote to my parents saying that she was thankful for the opportunity to create these shoes and again Liz you are amazing we'll talk about her in a second we got to show you guys the shoes first but this was her note that she wrote to my family and then this is the repair kit so it has a little Oh, should I tell you guys yet? Maybe I'll show you guys in a second. Either way, that's the repair kit with all the information about the shoes. And now right here, this is her branding. It says Sparkle and Bling It. This is the name of her business, which I'll have everything linked down below in the description. And then we got the shoe. Oh, we got the shoe. So as you can see right here, this is no ordinary pair of Air Force Ones. Now you guys know I love samples and PEs and I'm not too into the customs. But when it comes to certain customs, especially ones that were heartfelt and thought of by my family and friends, where they create moments and tell me those different stories through the sneakers, and it's amazing work like this, yeah, I love shoes like this. So some of you may or may not have seen, I talked about the car accident that I was in on May 28th of 2013, and it's actually been 10 years since that accident. And it still has affected me to this day because it was a day that literally changed my life. I made a video about it, talking about the whole situation and scenario. I'll make sure the thumbnail's right here so you know what the video looks like and I'll tag that down below in the description if you guys wanna watch that after this one. But basically, I was in a car accident, car rolled about seven times down the freeway, I was hurt really bad, and there was a lot of things in my life that just I never thought would be the same. So to be able to come back and play football and do all these things and live my life and enjoy what I do and be able to create these videos and share these moments like this, I'm so thankful for it and I appreciate these gifts and I appreciate all this stuff. So that kind of gives you guys a, just a small glimpse of why I love this shoe so much already. But all the details and everything that goes along with this shoe, I'm excited to show you guys as well because these things are crazy, bruh. And I'm also gonna be using other custom gifts that I've received over the past 10 years as well incorporated into this video because they actually kinda all tie in together. So like typical fashion, we're gonna start with the bottom of the sneaker and work our way up. Both shoes are different, so we got a lot to go over. Starting with the outsole, classic, all white Air Force One, nothing different right there. Midsole, same thing, all white Air Force One. And then the upper, oh the upper. Liz, you are amazing, that is all I can say. Link down below in the description if you wanna check her business out if you ever want anything done like this because I low key might need to put an order in too. So as you can see right here, the crystals are all throughout the shoe. But one thing that I really love about this is there's multiple sizes. Everything is perfectly placed throughout this shoe. It's crazy how much time and effort I could already tell that it takes someone to do something like this. So again, I appreciate the work on this project. Now, on the back end around the heel, you have number 19, which is my jersey number. That's the number that I wore in college. I was number nine back in high school and then 19 when I got to college. And all my friends and family knew me for rocking and loving that number. Now on the swoosh right here, you have an all red swoosh with red jewels throughout that. And then you have an angel with a halo on the top of the swoosh and the angel wings right there. And I got my angels tatted on my back when I turned 19 to represent my brother and sister that didn't make it when they were born. And now they still got my back to this day and I'm thankful for them now going to the front end of the shoe right here it says foothill family and it has a heart on the toe when i was playing football in school like you see hold on let me show you real quick this is one of the helmets that i received as a gift with a painting of all of us on there which again if you guys want to see more detailed videos about all my other gifts as well I would love to make those and tell some of those stories, but as you can see, my Foothill College logo is right here. And then this is some of my stats. 2014 Foothill College MVP on offense, 2014 California All-Conference wide receiver. And those are just some of the details on this helmet. But again, like I said, the Foothill, everything is kind of tied into the same thing because I was going to Foothill College at the time when the car accident happened. And that brings me to say, shout out to my Foothill family, my coach, the training staff, the teachers, my, my teammates, uh, everybody at Foothill, like I appreciate all you guys during those times being there for me, 
during my recovery and everything like that. It, it helped me and motivated me so much to know that I wasn't alone and I had you guys by my side and you guys were there to help me. And you guys actually cared about me and cared about my family and was there for me. So again, thank you to you guys as well. Shout out to the Foothill family. So it's dope to see that on the toe of the shoe. And we'll talk about the toe of the shoe other side. Obviously football, I was a wide receiver, so that makes sense. Now looking at some of the other cool details on the shoe, you have the Air Force One lace lock at the front of the shoe and it's all jeweled out, iced out right there. Super dope detail. And then you have the white laces, white tongue, white guts on the inside. Now going to the back end of the shoe, you have the black right here around the back tab type area. And then you have white stitch with a Nike Air. And then you have a red bar in the center of the foot. And then going to the inside of the foot on the swoosh right here, it's actually gonna be black instead of red like you see on the other side. So again, all the details, there's little jewels inside of the black area, the red area, even on the swoosh, everything throughout. It's just so, so nice. And the representation of the different things with my jersey number and my angels having my back and my football team and the coaching staff and everybody like that. They may not know, but either way, when, the, when I got in the car accident, I only had one shoe on after I came out uh, of the car. And my left foot was the foot that got all mangled up and it was all tore up and my toes were messed up and it looked like my foot went through a blender. I know it kind of sounds a little gory, but that is what happened. And basically, uh, it's just funny seeing the heart right there on my left foot because this foot definitely needed the most love out of the two feet uh, from the accident. So let's take it to the right side and talk about some of the details on this shoe. Now looking on the outside of the foot right here, you can see it has the red swoosh, same thing like you have on the left foot, but on the inside of here, instead of having the angels, it has the dates, 5-28-2013. Those are gonna be some numbers and some dates that will always be meaningful for me. And I'm surprised I don't have it tatted yet, but eventually I will. But either way, May 28th, 2013 was always a big thing. And it's just, it's so crazy to see this, this iced out version, you know, on a 10 year kind of life anniversary type thing. And it, it's just, I don't know, I'll, this, I've gotten some amazing gifts in life, but this one right here is definitely one of the top uh, gifts that I've received from my parents. And my parents in particular, every single year they always get me something that's like meaningful and heartfelt and custom uh, made for me whether like i said it's a football helmet or we got shoes and cleats speaking of that let me show you one of my cleats real quick this is another one uh this was me playing and it's got my grandma on the inside and it's got me and it's got the may 28th right there and this is the day uh, I finally came back to be able to play football again and i had a huge run down the middle of the field i broke like six tackles Honestly, it might've been more than six tackles. If you guys think I'm lying, trust me, I'm not. And then my nine and 19, different stuff. Again, another great, amazing gift. I'll talk about these in another video someday. But like I said, each year for the past nine years, now 10 years, I received a gift and it just, uh, you know, it's kind of like another birthday for me from my family. So it's always uh, dope and fun to see what's coming. And I kind of, I kind of do feel like there's always something coming every year and I'm just thankful for it. And it's always fun. So now to be able to tell these stories and share this with you guys on my channel, it's always fun. I don't care if I get 10 views or a hundred thousand views or a million views off of this video. This is me sharing my true love for sneakers and art and, and life and all these things and family and everything. So family. Fast and Furious. <laughs> nah, but yeah, I'm just uh, I'm just really thankful for all this stuff and seeing these details on the shoe. And I've seen these before and it's so crazy because I'm still making this video and I'm like, I'm just loving every moment of all these shoes. So um, going throughout the rest of the shoe, like I said, you got that, that iced out, you know, jewels all throughout the rest of the sneaker. And then on this side of the shoe, throughout the whole side of the foot right here, it says, I'm here to make a difference. This is a tweet that I tweeted out the night before the car accident happened and I literally almost lost my life. For some reason that night, I was, I remember, I just, I just felt like, man, I'm working so hard. I'm trying to do good in football. I'm running my business. I'm doing all these things and I want to make an impact. I want to help people. I want to do, I want to just do good things. I don't want to leave this world and not feel like I didn't do anything positive. So I just tweeted out, you know, I'm here to make a difference. It's just simple as that. I want to make a difference and hopefully, you know, my videos help you guys and I hope that you guys get joy and knowledge and all those things and, and humor and all this stuff. Uh, when you guys watch my videos, I appreciate you guys again for all that stuff. And if you look right here on my helmet, it actually shows the same thing. This is a picture of the tweet that I posted the night before 
at 8.55 p.m. May 27th, and my parents had saw it and they screenshotted it after the car accident, and it became like a thing in, a, in my family as well. Like, you know, DJ's here to make a difference. He's trying to make a change. He wants to set up. You know, as you guys know, I love investing in real estate. I want to, I want to, everybody talks about it, generational wealth, building portfolios, having multiple homes, not only just building financial greatness, but either way, it's just, I, I just want to make a difference and I want to be able to make a change and move the needle forward as much as I can, not only for my family, but for the people that look like me, the people that weren't supposed to make it that far and all those different things as well. So for me, I'm here to make a difference and maybe I need to put that on a shirt and start rocking it more often again because that's something that I truly feel every single day when I get up and make these videos and have fun and go travel and, and teach people and do whatever I can to help out. Learn, earn, teach. If I go throughout the whole day and I don't do one of those three, I'm like, what did I do? That You can't do anything productive. You didn't learn nothing, you didn't earn nothing, and you didn't teach nobody nothing. Like what were you doing today you know what i'm saying just chilling playing the video games i get it maybe you earned a reward on the video game but either way it's not bad with playing video games trust me i love playing video games at this point i'm rambling off either way let's get back into the shoe i'm just i'm just talking today we, we going all through it i'm just spilling my emotions today so on the back side right here you have your red and jewels compared to the black yet on the inside of the swoosh right here you still have the black swoosh on this side and then wrap into the toe you have the football jeweled out you got the white jewels the brown jewels the paint job is crazy and then you got the same thing right here jewels on the air force one logo detail on these things are amazing again liz you did a dope job if you guys are interested in getting anything like this for yourself or a gift for somebody else liz is a part of the dna fam the sneakerhead academy she's in the community and she also does dope things like this and i probably would have never known or had the opportunity to get something like this if it weren't for the community so again if you guys want to be a part of the community or if you want to get anything done from her both of those links will be down below in the description because it's so dope to see how all of this just like comes full circle from building a community of people and having like-minded individuals and and us all sharing love and passion for each other and for the things that we have a passion for with sneakers and all the different stuff and at this point in the video now i told everybody in my community i was gonna select somebody uh to win a free pair of shoes because if you if you guys don't know in my community every single month we give away a free pair of shoes and then you guys have the opportunity to enter challenges sometimes you win the challenge based off of like who did the best and sometimes i just select a random person and in this scenario i wanted to select a random person but basically i ask people to say hey post a photo of some shoe that means the most to you and tell me about it and tell your story just like i tell my story and i love to hear about it and then i'm gonna select a random person and give them a free pair of shoes and every single month we do challenges like this some may be talking about investing some may be talking about simply which color outfit do you like more or which shoe is better or show me your most recent pickup there's a lot of different challenges every month but if you guys want to be in the community and enter into these challenges and win free pairs of shoes every month trust me it's a fun thing i love it and that comes along with the course and all the other stuff that goes along with the program that i teach you guys stuff so there's a lot of like-minded individuals in there i appreciate everybody in the community now let's go ahead and select somebody for the winner i'm announcing it in today's video we just talked about it in the live stream the other day and again we do live streams so if you guys want to be in the community and hop in the live streams and catch up with us and get any other sneak peeks or any behind the scenes info from me make sure you guys tap into that because that's where you guys get direct access to me to ask me any questions that you may have or if you need any help I can help you or somebody else in the community can help you so with all that being said let's pick somebody as a winner and let's go ahead and announce it so I can contact them and send them some free shoes and I just thought about it originally I was gonna highlight just one person and show you know the winner and all this stuff but let's go ahead and run through a few people that entered uh, just so we can highlight a couple people as well and shout out to Liz she entered her thing in here and this is the shoes that she actually wore to her wedding again go support her business and check it out link down below I think if you want to do custom sneakers in particular you have to message her or something like that or hit her on IG uh, and then you can actually get even more custom work done now let's go to the next one Carl Pinniger oh we talked about this in a video in the past he uh UNC off by one I helped him get this shoe in a trade and it was like his most valuable trade and this was his ultimate grill another dope shoe and I'm glad I could be a part of that what we got Space Jam 11s right here what else we got Ken right here he was wearing the patent bread ones to his wedding finesse my guy it's kind of a long story stay tuned I'll explain it in a shoe okay he, be, he got a new YouTube channel as well make sure you guys check out finesse's YouTube channel uh, I'll link that down below in the description as well we got my mom in here we got to highlight this one too this right here is a sneaker 
room collab. It has a really big meaning to our family through cancer and breast cancer particularly. And I wear pink cleats all the time and I helped make the movement with pink shoes on my football team and my mom was always there uh, supporting that. And every time we get a chance to get some breast cancer sneakers or something like that, we always grab them. And this one, I know we we're both happy to grab. I made sure that I put in a special order just for me and my mom to get this shoe. So I remember that this is a super dope sneaker right here. Um, but yeah, that's just a few people that uh, submitted their entries. Now, let's pick a winner that wasn't selected out of those people. Let's go with who we got right here. Brady Wynn. These shoes are the most meaningful to me because they are re what really kind of made me a sneakerhead. They were my first ever Jordan. Okay, dope. So Lost and Found Air Jordan 1s. And as you can see right here, they put in some work. I am not mad at that right there. And they're new to the community, new to the knowledge. I'm love to help you out, Brady. Whenever you need anything, again, always hit me up. But you are the winner. So I'll be messaging you right here in the community, let you know that you won. I'll get your size and information, and everything like that if you're watching the video. Either way, that's our winner of today's video and on our community, our monthly challenges. So if you guys ever wanna be in any challenges, again, hit the link down below. I give away shoes every single month. People don't, they be sleeping. I literally give away shoes all the time. I give away accessories and merch and all types of stuff. So if you guys want that or special discounts to my own website or anything like that when it comes to merch, hop into the community. I would love to see you on the inside. This was an amazing, amazing gift. One of my, oh, this is, I gotta, I gotta find some crazy case for these things. These things go wild. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know what you guys think about any other special shoes you may have in your collection and things that mean something to you as well. I always love to hear the stories that come behind sneakers. So drop comments down below. Don't worry, this is a safe zone for us to comment and share our stories together. And I appreciate all you guys as always. Again, thank you for the gift, Liz. Thank you to my parents for all this stuff. And I'm just so happy to add these to my collection. So I'll see you guys in another one. I'm out. I would never let you down us in my DNA hey, The hey, only choice I like to make what I'm aware it's today one I would never let you down us in my DNA The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today I was made for it, it's in the DNA